back out on the water again. Uh, it's a stunning day today. It's been nine months since we actually got out due to this thing that happened, which happened in the barrier back in March last year. So we've been doing up the boat a bit and getting ready, but we uh, finally made it and we're heading back to the barrier to uh, begin what we left off due to the accident. Uh, my nephew Michael lives over there, Blind Bay. He's got a batch, so we're going to head over there and uh, do a bit of fishing with Mike and uh, catch up with him. In the meantime, we've had a look around a few bays here out in the Hauraki Gulf. We've stayed over at Chamberlain's Bay. Well, wow, what a difference a day makes. Today broke beautiful and clear. We've had two or three days of sitting here with 25, 30 knot winds blowing across the bay here in Pounui Island. This yacht in front of us is a Catalina 34. And uh, I'm talking to the owner, he tells me that his hull number was 1489. Now our hull number is 1490. These boats were built basically on the same day in California, USA. And now 18 years later, here we are in the same bay, sharing the same space in the Hauraki Gulf, New Zealand. Rather remarkable coincidence, really. Anyway, the uh, gentleman owner there, he's going to come aboard our boat in a few minutes. He's going to swim across. We're going to have a cup of coffee and uh, share some stories. So we're going to be heading off soon over to um, Man of War Bay on the back end of Waiheke Island and then possibly we'll head over to Coromandel then up to Great Barrier Island. Now we're at Deep Cove on the Coromandel Peninsula so beautiful little cove here sheltered from the wind and just waiting for friends to come down from the barrier and then we're going to hop over to Coromandel for some supplies and catch up with a few cold ones with them. When the weather's right, we'll head north to the barrier. So, look forward to it and uh, we'll talk to you then. We'll have one of those. What's that game you've got to take? Oh, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Well, we're just leaving Squadron Bay this morning to head into Coromandel Harbour where we're going to launch the tender and uh, go up the creek into Coromandel Township and we're not the only ones doing it. Looks like there's a whole armada of boats going to be heading up the creek at the same time, heading into Coromandel to get some supplies or go to the village. So we're just going to head in there now, anchor off the creek, launch the inflatable and head into town. So high tide's around about 11.30 so we should be fine. We need two hours each side of, or maybe yeah, one and a half, two hours each side of the tide to get into town and back up the creek out to the harbour again. It's very tidal. So you've got to be very careful otherwise you won't get back to your boat. Well we got a good start this morning nice and early and uh, we had a good day in Coromandel yesterday I picked up some supplies and uh, now we're just uh, heading off up to the tip of Coromandel Colville Channel uh, we're going to turn right and then head over to uh, Blind Bay to catch up with our nephew Michael uh, it's a good day not much wind is forecast so we'll probably motor sail most of the way there's a gentle northerly blowing in so it's on the nose so I doubt whether we'll get much sailing till we turn the corner and head, head east.
this is our world famous in New Zealand, Elephant Cove. Recess right into the cliffs. Uh, there's several boats anchored there. We're not going to anchor there now. There's just not enough room. But it's a good place to anchor if you've got room. Have a cup of tea and some lunch before heading on up to the barrier. That's why you Well, we finally made it. Mike came down to meet us, and we're just going up now to the um, cottage in the, in the bush and have some dinner. See you, dude. Get up here, yeah. Hey. We're, we're almost on the beach. You too, hey? <laughs> oh. What do you think, John? Oh, it's fantastic. Hello. Well, what a view. If you wait a few and uh, maybe another hour or so, I'll have cinnamon bread. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. This setup, John, that Mike's got. Wow! <laughs> Look at his four elements. <laughs> so He's just—he bought so this great. for like, I think fifty dollars yeah. on Trade Me. He bought um, the shower tray for ten dollars on Trade Me. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, feeling the buds out in the middle of the bush. It's amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Yes, it's um, this. All right, put the lid on. <laughs> Made <laughs> in the bush. This is amazing, an yeah. open air oven. Open air oven, look at this. Very innovative. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. I don't know, Jill. I have to just wait and see. Oh, they look nice. You won't see. See that, Jill? Okay, and then I'm going to oh. put the lid on. So this is a sort of a stove top oven. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll okay. see, John. It's very innovative. Oh, wow! Oh, they're perfect, are they? Oh, my oh, they're perfect, are they? Oh, they're perfect. Wow. That's so cool. Such a, <laughs> basic that's oven. Of, oh, well, pretty more than a basic oven. It's pretty inventive, really. Putting a fry pan on a pot and lid on it. Come on, video that well, side, the burn side. Can we do some of these on the boat, Joel? Make um, some? We could try. <laughs> I'll give you the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the recipe, Joel. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's tied up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so why is it not moving? <laughs> <laughs> 